Oh, I guess uh, welcome back. I mean, it's been 14 months, I think, at this point. So what's uh, what's the feel finally being back on a fight week? I'm so happy to be back in the fight. I love my job and I'm so happy working again. So can't wait to Saturday. Nice. A, a lengthy time away. Uh, I think a lot of us were surprised that it was this long. Was this was this by choice? Was, was there injury? Were there other things going on? What's what's happened in the meantime? I was going through surgery, like very serious surgery, and I was on my rehabilitation. I don't want to go early because I know fighters who go early and they tore this, this again. So this surgery, you have to wait. That's why I was follow all instruction of doctors. I don't go stupid. I was behaving all year. And it's good. I heal it fast as possible and come back. That's awesome. Was that tough for you to do, to be disciplined and not rush back the way many people do? For real, discipline is always hard. Uh, the problem is that you, uh, when you have surgery on your knee, you not really feel it. And if doctor tell you not to run, you might have feelings that you can be okay to run. But it's not like this. You just not feel it and you have to... Listen what doctors say to you and follow their instruction if you want to heal your knee faster. Because I know fighters who was out with this trauma for two years because they didn't follow doctor instructions. They go after four months like, oh, I'm okay, I don't feel pain. They go and tore it again and they have to do surgery again and go through this again. So I was just doing everything smart and follow doctor instruction. And trust me, I come back soon as possible. I love my job. Awesome. Uh, the last time we saw you, uh, obviously a difficult loss, you know, the big upset. People say the biggest upset of the year. I mean, yeah. what was that experience like for you and, and what did you take out of that fight? Uh, you know, I just was having a lot of troubles in, in my life that I didn't decide. I just take new fight. And for real, I should take my time, I should rest, I should fix all my life before I come back to new fight. But I take this fight so fast and yeah, I try to jump high as possible, but I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so has the focus, you know, obviously the rehab, but has the focus been fixing the things outside of uh, the, the cage? That yeah, bothering? you know, I'm from Kazakhstan and there is very bad economic and I was like struggling before UFC, before I signed contract, I was struggling very bad. Like also I was riding my bicycle like five, six hours a day because I don't have a car. You know, after my UFC fight, I buy myself a car and I don't have to ride bicycle everywhere. Like it's very comfortable. Now this camp, I feel much better because for this money, I make my camp comfortable, my conditioning comfortable. And I trying to make everything best because I have money now. But before my fight, I like with Shannon Dobson, I didn't do this. I didn't take break. I didn't fix my life. Like didn't get car to myself. I just keep going. And my body was already exhausted from past cut, past fight, past camp. I just didn't let myself time to recover. Like I never fight in so high level because in Invicta I can do this. In Invicta in like another promotion, I fight every month, and in another promotion, that's okay. But it seems like in UFC you can't do this because everyone's so good. Like you can't go fight so early. You have to recover your body. You have to be in the best shape you can be. And sometimes it's better to have your time, to take your time and rest, get your things done, and after come back even more stronger than take second fight. Like, it's what I usually do in my life, just fighting, 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 but I shouldn't do this in UFC. It's what I understand. So does this fight to you almost feel like, like a new chapter in your career, like a, a new start? It seems like everything's changed, you're more mature. Is this a different time for you? Yeah, it's different time. I changed gym. There is my new coach, Rogers, there. I start working with him on this camp. And he brought me to good shape, very good shape. I never felt like this before. I like my coaches and ATT more and Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> uh, I like them so much, but in ATT Coconut Creek, they have a lot of superstars, a lot of fighters. They can really be focused on me. But Roger, he have only me, Ronnie, Charles, and that's it. He don't have much guys. And he, we do a lot of personal workout, a lot of training together, a lot of personal attention. So this camp, I feel even better than in my last camps.
Very nice. So, Talk about the matchup you have here. Sabina Maso, uh, what do you think about her as an opponent? I think she's a very good opponent for me, very strong. I respect her. I think this will be very big war for both of us. Very nice. Last thing for me, I guess your goal here, obviously, to win. But is it just a win? Or, you know, you had all this hype and all this excitement around you and then the loss and the time away. Do you feel like you want to, like, get people talking about you and excited again? Or, or does that even matter to you? You know, I want to get my life fixed again because I didn't fight here like... I never have big money in my life. And after my fight with Sana Sifers, my life is changed. I, I buy myself a car. I start buying things, whatever I want. I send money to my relatives, you know. In Kazakhstan, they work for 300 in months. And for them, like thousand dollars is like, pfft. They was happy. Everyone was happy. And I was happy. And after my money gone and I become poor again, and I hate this, you know, I hate being poor. I hate struggling. I just want to live in good life. It's why I fight and I want to change my life after this fight. I want to let my life change and change to good way. I know my life will change, but I don't know how much it's going to change. And I, I want to change it to best way I can, to best way, like get everything, whatever I can do. Doing my best. I will do my best.